So now let's go um, on our home controller here. I'm going to make a different control. I'll do it on here, and I'll do public view result, and I'll say login. And that's just going to return a view. And I just did a view result because then we know we know it's going to be returning a view. It's not going to be redirecting anything like that. And then finally, right, so I'm going to build my project. There we go. So I built my project. And now uh, I'm going to say if model state dot is valid. Uh, we'll say view bag. Or we'll say, let's see, we'll just return view um, okay and now just for right now and we need to pass something into that so I'm going to call this I'm going to say uh, models dot login I'm going to say model because this is uh, Visual Studio kind of how that does the table it will the route table it will see that we're trying to pass a model to here and it'll say oh we need to use this controller so we're going to use that one and then we need to give this an attribute and say HTD post because it responds to the post anti valid or anti forgery token that uh, helps with cross site scripting and we will also say uh, we will also say accepts verbs HTTP verbs post and then finally we also need to give it an action name and we'll say login that'll be the action name so this method essentially or uh, controller method is responding to this controller method uh, post so it posts from this view to here does the validation and then we'll redirect to wherever we want to go so maybe we can say return um, we'll say redirect to action and we'll send them to the index We'll send them to the home page if it's valid. How about that? And you can see here must return a value, and if it's not valid, we're just going to return a view. Okay, and it'll just go back to here, and it'll have the invalidation errors. So and that's all there is to it.